So in this video, I will be talking about how the cell cycle is controlled. So cell cycle control. So let's start at the G2 checkpoint. So what occurs at the G2 checkpoint is that essentially what occurs is it checks if DNA is replicated correctly. So, because the S phase is um, the phase where DNA is replicated, G2 checks for the DNA replication if it went properly. And now, there's another checkpoint at the M phase, or mitosis checkpoint, and this is a checkpoint to see if spindles are aligned correctly to chromosomes. So it checks if, pretend that's a chromosome center. We'll use red as a center. And it checks to see if spindles are aligned properly with the chromosome. And if not, mitosis will not continue. And so now on to the G1 checkpoint. So after mitosis has occurred, what is going to occur is the cell is going to check if DNA is damaged and like all of this, during all of those phases, actually more specifically during the G1, if the cell is damaged it can undergo apoptosis. which is programmed cell death. It's essentially the cell committing suicide. And so it's important to remember that cyclins are the key when it comes to checkpoints. So cyclin levels rise and fall during the cell cycle and if the levels aren't at the right amount, cell division stops at certain checkpoints such as those. And so many things can influence the cell cycle. Let me clear some of this. So, external signals such as growth factors um, those are received at the plasma membrane and that can influence the cell cycle um, and so it's important to remember that that's most common in eukaryotes in prokaryotes things such as pH can influence the cell cycle um, pH along with temperature can influence the cell cycle in prokaryotes. And the internal signals, as I previously stated, are essentially regulated by cyclin. And so let's talk a little bit about cyclin. So cyclin is a protein. And then CDK, which is cyclin dependent kinase, plus cyclin gives you MPF, which is mitosis promoting factors. And MPF can um, phosphorylate things, so adds phosphates to proteins. And now, so just to sum up everything 
that we talked about. The most important checkpoint is the G1. Is most important. It checks the DNA and stuff. Um, G2 checks for DNA replication. And then finally, remember that apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, apoptosis can occur at any time during the cell cycle if the cell discovers that something went wrong it will most likely undergo apoptosis but however there is this G0 state it's essentially a state where the cell is just hanging out not really doing anything but that may be because the cell uh, has been given a signal not to divide and could divide later and could be induced to divide or it's just the cells messed up and it's just awaiting just doing nothing